Hey guys, I'm back again. My name is Shan, and today we'll be creating Azure Virtual Machine, uh, rather machines. Um, we'll be creating multiple Azure Virtual Machines using Terraform. Uh, in last couple of videos, we've created a lot of resources using uh, Terraform. This video is dedicated to create uh, one of the most key component of uh, an infrastructure as a uh, service on Azure that is uh, a virtual machine. Uh, so let's get started and uh, understand how what 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 uh, uh, code we have uh, we've written to um, create the resource so key component needs we need to have is a resource group um, which is started by a resource key name and azure uh, rm underscore resource under group that is the api which terraform calls this is the name uh, this is the reference tag which has been given and name of uh, the resource group followed by the location um, this is a sample storage account which we have created we have given a tag to this um, uh, storage account as well and yeah so we have created a virtual network which is which is the one i mean one of the most uh, prerequisite uh, which we need to have before creating the virtual machine so we have the resource key name followed by azure rm virtual network test um yeah so address space is uh, is uh, is under the uh, square bracket 10.0.0.16 uh, then we have location that is uh, that is this key name dot test dot location and same followed for resource group as well we uh, so there are multiple components which is necessary before creating the virtual machine one of them is virtual network followed by azure subnet uh, so uh, if, I, if i pull out a paint and show you how it works actually so this is going to be uh, this is going to my virtual network all right this is going to buy my vnet and under beneath underneath this we'll have a subnet uh, so virtual network is a shell under that we'll have a subnet where we'll define the address space uh, so if it's gonna be a private IP so we'll define it has to be 10.0.x.x uh, .x. so this is this is where we in the subnet section we define that then we have network security group we call it NSG NSG is basically we have inbound and outbound rules to define which traffic which port number is open for this particular for to access or incoming or outgoing traffic for this particular vm so if you want to take rdp we need to make sure that port 3389 is uh, is is open to to rdp into this particular virtual machine if you want to have uh, uh, http https we may make sure port number 8080 80 for http and port number 443 for https is open so yep so we have defined the subnet over here then we have uh, the group name and uh, uh, virtual network name which we have defined above network interface uh, nick card is is again uh, a mandatory component to create the virtual machine then we have manage disk and we have a virtual machine name so if you if you uh, give it a focus over here we have azure rm uh, underscore virtual underscore machine followed by the uh, reference tag what we have done is we have created more than one VM so we have what we have defined is the tag name you can give it anything uh, demo machine all right so the tag name goes over here as well demo machine which means now your now your virtual machine name would be demo hyphen machine one two so count dot index so make sure if you are creating multiple VMs you give it a dollar sign and parenthesis and count dot index which means it iterates and loops uh, uh, it repeats uh, the 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 creation of virtual machine the number of count we have defined below so count which is defined below is two which means twice this this particular uh, uh, section will be run uh, which means we'll have two VMs which will be created rest of the uh, parameters goes as same that is location group name and uh, network interface ID so then we have uh, uh, we define 
which virtual machine which one we want to create we define the publisher name microsoft windows server offer windows server sq that's going to be so you can get all these information in uh, azure site so we'll you'll have to get that manually from there version we are getting the latest version uh, storage operating storage uh, uh, disk um, standard or premium from image and a lot of these uh, by default parameters um, storage data disk um, uh, we defined uh, the di disk size and standard type of disk and name of the disk uh, followed by operating system profile which is going to be like the name of the compu computer name which is going to be the host name when you open the when you RDP into the machine this is the name which will be show uh, shown over there username to log into the virtual machine that's going to be test admin and admin password which is like uh, a fictitious password OS profiling windows config this is this is a mandatory uh, component we need to have for windows it, had it been Linux we ha just had to replace this windows uh, keyword with Linux and tags we have, we have given de defined a tag for this particular environment as well um, that's pretty much it, uh, pretty much it. Uh, this is all we need to define uh, to create a virtual machine uh, if, if you need the entire code I have already uh, uh, make sure that this code is available on my uh, blogging site that's cloudcalendar.wordpress.com and you can get the code from there alright so let's save it and try to run this I'll clear my screen um, so let's try to um, run let's try to refresh first and uh, type in terraform inet and then terraform uh, plan to see what all components terraform is trying to build destroy or modify so hopefully it should be all uh, build nothing to destroy nothing to modify yep so there are two um, uh, components to add let's look at what are those components are so if you see over here we it's plus sign indicate create so that's going to be demo machine zero that's going to be the name of my virtual machine if you look at over here and the second machine is going to be demo hyphen machine one um yeah so that's that's what we defined over there demo hyphen machine uh, count dot index over here over here all right so if we just hit terraform apply now and then type in yes mm. so Terraform will start creating these resources alright so Terraform has started to evaluate and then now uh, creating these resources on my uh, virtual machine so it looks like we have an uh, we have a uh, error over here so let's try to uh, debug this so we have uh, been able to debug that let's try to refresh and run it again that's gonna be terraform plan and hopefully this time it should run alright so let's try to hit terraform apply and quickly let this create our virtual machines I'm going to hit yes and fingers crossed uh, hopefully this time it should be okay. all right so so uh, we have we've used this code already to create other virtual machines other resources as well so a lot of these resources are uh, uh, being used already so that's why it is saying that uh, this particular resource is already being taken uh, but however the the code remains same to create these uh, virtual machine uh, if you have any problem while creating these virtual machine feel free to text uh, feel free to email me or uh, write a comment on this underneath this video i'll try to solve them and uh, uh, get you get you uh, surpass the bugs i hope this was informative stay tuned stay tuned for uh, more updates and uh,